Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a question in from Abdul Rahman Al Taba. Hope I'm saying that right. That came in on an email. Uh, he says, "Hello there. Which is better, the Nikkor 70 to 300 AFS or the Nikkor 70 to 300 AFP?" My pleasure. Uh, okay, so um, good question. Newer lens and an older lens, which is basically this, what it boils down to here. Um, which is better? I'm going to say pretty much. Certainly the 70 to 300 AFP. The key thing here though is by how much. The 7300, I've shot that right back to the earliest version of it and it's a nice lens, very good performing lens. A lot of people get a lot of good images off that lens from some really nice FX cameras. Shot it on a D810 and it's just fine. The AFP, which is signatory of the new stepper autofocus motor and also the fact that it has the newer uh, electronic uh, diaphragm. So um, the other thing is to differentiate here is uh, depending on what ones we're talking about, I mean, the 70 to 300 uh, AFS is a full full frame FX lens. Um, there is a 70 to 300 VR AFP DX as well as the 70 to 300 uh, VR AFP. So there's we've got a DX lens here and we've got an FX lens here. So you also need to differentiate which one we're talking about because I'm pretty sure you didn't say yeah, it didn't you just said the AFP? So there's two of them. So the question is. Um, you know, which one we're talking about because um, the DX ones is a good lens, it's just optimized for DX. So it's going to be lighter, smaller, uh, it's going to be less expensive. The FX one will work fine on your DX body and gives you the option that if you move to an FX camera, you can get that as well. Uh, again, I have no problem with the AFS, the, 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 not the P version, not the, you know, the older one. Very good lens. I've owned a couple copies of that over the years and I really like it. So it's just more a question of um, what um, your budget is um, and whether there's something about the AFP with the stepper motor and whatnot. Um, supposed to be better, quieter autofocus for movie mode. Is that an issue to you? Is Because if, if it is, then you probably would want to look at that. If it's not, then um, probably just look at the AFS. I'm not sure. My thoughts on that are a little bit... Um, clouded by the fact that Nikon's continuous focus in movie mode isn't great to begin with. So even though you're adding the AFP, does it help? Probably. Is it enough that I would spend the extra money? Because in movie mode, the focus isn't smoothly continuous like you have with the dual pixel AF from Canon. So is it worth spending that on? I think I think that's great that they're coming out with the P lenses for that, but they really need to step up and deliver some type of better continuous autofocus system for video. Till that happens, the AFP lens is probably not really necessary because it's no matter how good that lens is, the focus is still going to be off. But anyways, that's what I would do. It just depends on whether you're into movies and you think you want the P. You got to figure out if you want the P DX or FX. And then also, um, if you don't want to spend the extra money and you're mostly in photography, then I would probably just get an AFS. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Which way would you go? Let us know which way and why in the comments below. Thanks for your question. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.